Yeah. Uh, Lord Monroe, uh, CJ, describe this kind of day from your vantage point. Obviously, it wasn't a, it didn't seem like a big throwing day uh, all the way around, etc., with the breeze, etc. But uh, obviously, you tried to make uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. a hero a few times. You know, things didn't click. Uh, uh, Pastor Fish and stuff. But how would you describe it from your vantage point? Because uh, Ryan Day was saying, great quarterbacks just want to get the win, want to get the touchdown. Uh, yeah, first and foremost, I'm going to give all glory and praise to God. Uh, again, I wouldn't be here. Um, so, I mean, uh, from my perspective, I mean, we won. You see, I don't yeah. care. Uh, I think their goal as a defense was to not let our pass game win. And so we ran the ball. So, I mean, early on, early in the season, I said I was cool with that. It's not just about me. It's about getting wins and about other people eating. So, um, when it's time for me to, to shine and do my thing, I feel like we'll do that. But I think their main goal was just to stop us on the, on the passing game. And, um, I mean, we still kind of had efficiency with that, but they were taking a lot of stuff away and too high coverage and things like that. But uh, just got to be smart with the ball and the one play at a halftime. And then after that, I think we should ride in the game. Was Maya really feeling it today? What was your, you know, you're around him a lot. I mean, was he? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's definitely one of my best friends on the team, so it's just good. It's really inspiring to see him uh, have a good game like that, all the stuff he's been through, all the stuff he's still going through out of his day, all the work he puts in, and just how focused he remains. So uh, it's kind of cool to see his work pay off. Over to the left, Cameron T. Robinson, the athletic. CJ, with, um, you, you mentioned obviously just want to win games. Yes. They took away the pass today, you guys need to run, run the ball. How important is a game like this today, going down the road, knowing that, like, hey, if they want to try to take you and your receivers away, you can lean on my and the team. Right. Uh, I definitely think that's something that we need uh, just because, I mean, we are uh, pretty dynamic on the outside. And it, uh, I think we do a great job on, uh, on the inside protecting and um, I definitely think that maybe other teams will try, but I mean, if we can run the ball that good and, and connect on some of the plays like we were doing uh, in the past game, and uh, it'll, it'll be a recipe for a win and a success. So um, I definitely think that uh, we'll continue to, to get better and better. Uh, just got to clean up some things on the offensive side, just like uh, pass pro and uh, um, me just with my read, seeing one high, two high, and things like that. But uh, they did some things on film we didn't think they were going to do. So uh, just got to be prepared for everything. But I think we'll, we'll continue to be great. Uh, over to the uh, right here, uh, Nathan Barrett, Cleveland.com. Since you brought it up, can you kind of walk us through that first play of the second half? And is that an example of where they did something that you weren't expecting? No, nah, they just went to play no cover two, a nickel carry. I thought I could fit it over his head and, and, and make a tight throw. Uh, just got to be smarter. I mean, with their safeties, when they run their cover two, they get so much depth that they kind of take away that and the whole shot just because when he sees the ball, that's when he reacts. So. Um, I tried to just fit it over the top. Uh, Could have made a better throw, make a round a good round. Uh, the nickel carry, so I should have just checked it down. And that cover two look, because they just put the whole blanket over the over the, uh, over the um, offense. Uh, so I just got to be smarter right there. Um, I know that coming into the season, I, I knew I was going to get a little bit of that. And I mean, in the first half, we didn't do everything that we wanted to do. So maybe I just was trying to press a little bit too much. So you got to be smarter. Isn't that you've made other players like that this year fit in? Type. Is that where you kind of just test your own limits? Uh, a little bit of both. I mean, uh, I'm never going to put this team at risk I mean, to try something I don't think I can complete. I know for a fact I can complete that ball. I thought I'd be a little better. Uh, just got to step into it a little more or something. I'm not sure. So, I mean, we'll get back to the drawing board, uh, continue to, to watch film and get better. I mean, I think that's definitely some minor point. This season, like, everything isn't figured out in any team in America. As you can tell, around college football. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Buckeyes. We're going to continue to be great. And we got two more questions for CJ over to the far left. Jeremy Birmingham, Rivals. Right, CJ, did you learn your lesson about trying to celebrate with DeWan after <laughs> doing a touchdown? Because sort of got knocked over. But for real, in this season, you seem like the receivers have been ro rotating and a lot of nagging injuries, stuff like that. Is it harder for you to get into a like a established rhythm during a game if you don't know who's going to be there or practices are different or anything like that? Um, not really. I mean, I build a good chemistry with everybody. Uh, I mean, the young guys, you know, they come out whenever we throw rounds and stuff like that. So, I mean, uh, sometimes uh, just we, we're throwing the ball so efficiently that it's just a big surprise when you're not perfect every Saturday. So, I get I get why maybe the question was asked, but. Um, I mean, I feel like our rhythm was fine. It's just we didn't get a lot of plays on offense totally. Um, I think maybe we got 50-something. They got 50-something too. So uh, just in college football, it's not a lot of plays getting around like back in the day when it was just spread offense, tempo. Um, so now we just got to be smart with our drives. And we only didn't score on one drive. 
So if you look at that, that's a really efficient day. You know what I'm saying? So um, I definitely think I could make that, could have made that throw on that third down too. I got if I could have stepped into it, it's just a tad bit more. But um, yeah, I definitely think that we'll continue to get better. I mean, that's something that day when you look at games like this, like what can you learn from? You can always learn from something in the game. So I mean, we'll continue to have great rhythm. And I mean, I think both run and pass have been great. So we'll continue to build. And final question over here to the right, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. CJ, how hard is it for you in games where, where teams are really sort of focused on taking away the pass and being sort of a deep step? Uh, I mean, it's not necessarily too hard. I mean, I think it is a quarterback, you just want to win. So, I mean, I'm not in it for my personal stats or nothing like that. It's, it's not about me, it's about this team. There's so many great people on this team that have decided to come play at this great university, and it would be selfish of me just to do things that are unordinary or, or just dumb to put the team at risk. So, uh, I think just being smart uh, is definitely just, I mean, I think that we just want to win. So, I mean, that means that I don't throw for a lot of yards, I don't throw for a lot of touchdowns, I can really care less. I'm here to win. So, um, but I definitely think we get more possessions uh, than maybe we, we do do a little bit more. But at the end of the day, it's a blessed to be here. So. It was a breeze of fact you're not. No. Yeah. <laughs> the breeze, yeah. I mean, yeah, you, you, I felt it, it was nothing. Yeah. I mean, it was like. It just seemed like a couple of, you know, a couple of passes on both sides kind of sailed. Nah, I'm on the mouth throw, sail off. Yeah. I just, I just missed it. Yeah. CJ, thank you very much.